it where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. <clears throat> I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young, and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. Al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like Al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud Al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills. Finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. Meshi! <sighs> he tracked down one of Al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing, but that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. And allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement. Basim? I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basim. within our reach, Basim. And like those before and those yet to come, al Ghul's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue, for al Ghul is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while al Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, 
know that you have impressed me, Bassa. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. Beholden to your guidance, Master. Busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights under trial. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now. Wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, al -Ghul. For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. is yours, Basil. I will be watching. I need your help, my friend. Turns out the master is sitting tight. 
The fire has caused Rakis an alarm. Discipline. And when the opportunity presents itself, seize it. Well met, sir. What do you have? Lots to peruse, I assure you. Lighter, stronger, better. Nothing else? I must be on my way. Safe travels. It would be travelers. The Sahib Al Shurta warns that the roads beyond Baghdad are littered with bandits. Venture there only at your own risk. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Allow me to browse your stock. Plenty of stock just now. Never know when these will come in handy. All right. Useful for strengthening one's gear. Nothing further. I must take my leave. Be well, Sahib. Our scholars advise us that the signs point towards flooding on the banks of the Tishla this season. Please ensure your homes and procure plaster in anticipation of necessary repair. Greetings. Be welcome, sir. What do you have? Take a look. I can give it a second life. I know a thing or two about blades. I can improve the blade. Anything else? I must be on my way. So long. Oh. 
Guards came poking around and ordered us all to wait. At this rate, we will be here until next sundown. What delays your departure, friend? Someone by the name of Mas'ud saw fit to inspect my wares. And so here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. He's a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. If I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure al Hul out. around. You did. We were promised steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ul. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before Al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. <laughs>
need your eyes, my friend. What's going on? Huh?
What was that? Alive, man. Trouble's been sighted. Hey, down with you. Damn coward. Turn and face me. Greetings, my friend. What sorts of goods are you traveling with? Ivory and honey. And you? Are you seeking to trade? Perhaps. For now, I will browse for a little longer.
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could I interest you in some fruits and vegetables today? My pomegranates are ripe and succulent. Is that what you have come to trade? Let me think on it. Karwan Sarai is rich with wares today. I was wondering if you had any goods to sell? I only deal in Durham. And what I sell are not goods, boy. Though I suppose that depends on who you ask. I am not sure I understand. I sell men, laborers. But my lot is spoken for. Could I change your mind? I have coin to spare, and could use men such as yours. Fifteen thousand. That is absurd. Who has the means to pay so much? It is better to keep that question to yourself. Be on your way now. A strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. If I am going to free those laborers, I will have to steal the deed. Dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Now to free those men.
Keep an eye out just in case. Wait! Yeah! What was that? What? A likely spot? What the? Hey, did I ask you? Outlaws come there. This must be the caravan merchant's crate.
نواعي رقيقة خنوات سحقا عاد ذلك الزميل البيزنطي Is that what I think it is? Is this your crate? Ah, it is indeed. The guards returned it to you. In a manner of speaking. Very good, very good. I must repay you. You seem like a man who enjoys a good meal. Care for some spice? Not today, no. But I will ask that you loudly proclaim your departure. Make sure Mas'ud notices. <laughs> we share the same mind. My thanks to you, ya Sadiqi. Still heavy. Now is my chance. Well.